Welcome to the NOVA videos. In this video I'm going to show spectroelectrochemistry with the use of the NOVA 2 software and the Outlab spectro setup. We're going to measure a linear sweep voltammetry and with fixed interval time we're going to take a spectrum during the LSV. The setup is with a cuvette system which means we have a working electrode which is a platinum gauze where the light shines through, a counter electrode which is also platinum and a silver silver chloride gel reference electrode. We're going to fill it with an iron solution, iron 2 plus solution and which is colorless and the moment we scan into a positive potential it becomes iron 3 plus and the iron 3 plus solution is yellow and we can follow the color change with respect to time and potential. Welcome to the NOVA software. In this video I'm going to show you the spectroelectrochemistry standard procedure. First of all go to the open library. In the library you will find the default procedures and under linear sweep voltammetry you will find the spectroelectrochemical linear sweep procedure. Open this procedure it gives you some errors because of the um, device which is connected now is different than the one which is programmed. So for example, uh, this device name is now ASM80001 and I'm using 80002. When I change this in all the commands, you will see that the error is changing like this because I'm using ASM80002 now you see warnings and these warnings shows that the requested wavelength range is partially out of the device range because this spectrophotometer has a different range than the 80001 but I'm only interested in a specific wavelength range so I'm only interested in from 300 nanometers to 500 nanometers like this then the integration time I set to 10 milliseconds and I take a number of averaging of 25 this is my dark spectrum and the plot is visible in plot number one my reference spectrum I have to set the same specifications and parameters which I did in the dark spectrum so I also use the same in the reference spectrum so 300 to 500 and with the same integration time of 10 milliseconds and now the shutter is open the dark spectrum the shutter was closed so no light shining through the sample and with the reference spectrum the shutter is uh, opened and then there's light uh, flowing or shining through the cuvette the same I have to do in the DO triggering of in the LSV from 300 nanometers to 500 nanometers with the integration time of 10 milliseconds so this procedure is set up that we take first the dark spectrum then the reference spectrum then we do a linear sweep voltammetry from 0 volt to 1 volt with a scan rate of 100 millivolt per second and a step potential of 0.002 volts this uh, measurement has about 410 data points and this is important because we need to know the amount of data points we're going to expect in the more button you'll see what we sample we're sampling the current and the potential and in the options you can select the highest current range let's say 10 milliamp and to the lowest current range of 100 nanoamps the counters this is actually important here define uh, the at what sh what time you're going to take the spectrum so the counters can be used during the measurement to perform dedicated actions whenever a condition associated with the counter is triggered each counter accumulates during a measurement and it is possible to assign a specific instrumental action when a counter reaches a user-defined value. Since the counters are intrinsically linked to the measured data, the events triggered 
by the counters are directly correlated by the data points. So which means that every 50th data point we're going to take a spectrum. And at the end, so 410 divided by 50 is roughly 8 uh, spectra. So we're going to expect 8 spectra after the measurement. Of course you can set this value the way you want. and um, So you can have more spectrum, but for ex examples we will set this to 50. In the plot, the I versus E, the full thermogram, we plot in plot number 3. And the DU trigger, when uh, the, the trigger is sent to the spectrophotometer to, to get a spectrum, is after each 50 data points. So here it said get the spectrum after 50. You can also calculate automatically the absorbance and the transmittance, and then this button is switched on. But it needs a dark spectrum and a reference spectrum to calculate the absorbance and the transmittance. In the more button you'll see the sample, the raw data file, and then in number, plot number 5 and plot number 6, you'll see the absorbance and the transmittance. Now the procedure is set. The cuvette is filled with an iron 2 plus solution, which is uh, colorless. And the moment we scan it to positive voltage, uh, it will change into a yellow uh, color. And this color change we can visualize with the spectrophotometer. So it's a very simple reaction from iron 2 plus to iron 3 plus. The working electrode, counter electrode and reference electrode is connected. We only have to check the output circuit potential by pressing function 10 button. And let's see what kind of potential we have in, if it's stable. Well, it's pretty stable, minus 0 0.067 volts. So we can start the experiment. Press start and the measurement will run. First, we have the dark spectrum. This is dark. Then we have our reference spectrum. This is my linear sweep voltammetry. And if the LSV is finished, you'll see the raw file, the absorbance, and the transmittance. So you have already have the uh, value available. After the measurement, you can also visualize where where the data is taken so you'll see all the raw data but you can also see at which voltage potential the spectrum is taken so get spectrum 50 data points at this voltage and again we can see that at 100 data point this voltage this spectrum you can also visualize the raw data by the DU trigger and here you will see the wavelength measured the input dark input reference and all the other information which is taking during the experiment so you see how many spectrum you have available thank you for watching nova video if you found this nova video helpful please like and share with your colleagues you can subscribe to the metrom autolab youtube channel as you are notified when new videos are available